Good as to see you. Yeah, thank you, my brother. You're back now. Um, yes, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Tobio Kechuku. I represent President Leonardo with the River Federal Constituency. I'm the Deputy Minority Leader of the House of Representatives. You've been around, you've been campaigning, you've been moving around. You know, what is it that um, you, your candidates, and, you know, what is it that you're selling to the people of Enugu State? And why would they vote PDP again from this Saturday? Well, from all indications, you can see that uh, electioneering and the, uh, the idea of elections and picking you know, a hiring of people for the new phase of uh, activities in Nigeria in terms of job is now very distinct. People choose candidates. It's no longer much more of a party thing. Uh, uh, the, the, there is need for capacity competence. Because what is very sad in Nigeria is that when you hire a, hire a pork work, work man, everybody becomes a victim. But when you get somebody who is competent, even when he's not your brother, you're a beneficiary. The trajectory of Nigeria, what we've seen in the past few years, has shown that, look, we will remain where we are, except if we choose the right people. And uh, for me, uh, Peter Mba fits within that range. First and foremost, he's young. Uh, secondly, he has expressed himself sufficiently in the private sector. And uh, presently, he, is, he wants to be governor. And uh, we will support him to get that. He's within the youth bracket. And he comes within the range of people who can run some mileage uh, if he does well. And uh, he is in the oil sector. And what I saw when uh, he launched his uh, facility in Lagos, and when I visited his uh, pipeline, which is 4.5 kilometers in into the sea, uh, we are big ship, ships in you know, offload products. Uh, I can see that he has the can-do spirit. Actually, people think that, oh, it's just distribution of petroleum products. But there is something distinct, a defect occurred in Nigeria. You know, when we are talking about demorages, a mothership coming in, discharging, to uh, daughter ships, you know, smaller ships, and they'll now bring to the jetties. What did he do? He cured that. He developed a floating jetty, you know, in, deep into the sea that can take very big ships. In other words, he solved a deficient, uh, a problem in Nigeria. He cured the deficiencies and made it possible for Nigeria to save money in terms of demorage, he made it possible for Nigeria to save money in terms of the overhead they incur in importing petroleum products. So it's a very, very, uh, I mean, major intervention. And um, except somebody with deep thinking that can do that. Now, it's, you know, many would argue that um, the PDP, your party, in the last eight years hasn't done uh, so much for the people of Enugu. And um, in that line of argument, what would you then tell people why would they vote? You no, know, why would they vote PDP again now that the uh, governorship election is around the corner? So, well, what is very clear is that each individual who is at the helm of our face brings a different uh, dimension to government. Uh, you saw when uh, Jim Aroke was there, there was a different approach, Sullivan King, you know, it, it raised the level of gov governance, the quality, and everybody wa wanted to come home. Enugu became the regional capital is supposed to be, one of the foremost cities, you know, nightlife, uh, you know, returned. Now, what you need is not somebody, is the color and, and content of one's character and competence expressed as well. This is not when you hire blindly. Well, if you are talking about what, what are the options? Each and every one of these individuals have been in PDP. Peter took a sabbatical for close to 16 years, 
and he's back and he has expressed himself somewhere. Any of these other candidates, their, their departure from PDP was just six months back. So what the, 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 I don't think that the hood makes the monk. is the, is the internal composition of a man that he can bring to bear in an office. So you're saying that the departure now means uh, it, that, you know, the Indian people will be expecting a departure of what was happening obviously before this election in oh. terms of governance style. Up, up, exactly. That's my own personal belief, and I have seen that you know uh, uh, it will definitely manifest that there will be greater quality of uh, governance. There will be better approach to doing things, and uh, all these, all the other candidates have been part of the government. You know, Peter was not. As a matter of fact, what we are considering him is. You know, you can only, there is no science to know how somebody will perform in the future, except you assess what is done in the past or what he's doing presently. And what he's doing presently, we're satisfied with it. And you can see the human angle to it. His outlets, the petroleum stations that he runs, are the only ones who are still maintaining fuel price of 197 naira as against the 450 they are selling now. So I believe that that is the kind of uh, touch you can, you know, the human angle to it and then the capacity to do things. And how do you uh, fill in the touch point with the obedience? Obviously, you know that the obedience, not a political party, but a movement that is, that used uh, His Excellency Mr. Pitobi as the face. Now, considering that your party, is an antithesis to the obedient, where the obedient actually said they were going to punish your party for not granting them uh, the presidency moving to the south. If you put that into perspective, what are the chances of your candidate, or is your candidate going to declare to be an obedient member? What is it? Is he going to sign a pact with the obedient? What is it that you expect? If you do a correct reading, and the correct interpretation of the result of the presidential election in this state, where the, 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 the uh, uh, obedience, you know, you know, got 93%, you will find out that everybody is obedient. And as a matter of fact, you can see that uh, in what, you buy one Peter, then you get the other one free. So you have P squared. He is one of, he's within the youth bracket. He's the youngest of all of them. And he has expressed, you know, the, the core philosophy of the obedience, character, competence, and capacity. He has sufficiently expressed that in a sector he came as a miner in the petroleum sector, and he's become dominant in the sector. Which other better expression of competence would you have? In a sector where you have, uh, you know, the big, the big uh, uh, companies, Tutu, Corn Oil, and the rest of it, so he's a major, you know, uh, 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 platform for bringing product, products in Nigeria and distribution of products in Nigeria. So if he could, he, I, I think he embodies much more than anybody the spirit and letter of the obedience, because he's young. He's expressed himself as competent, and uh, he is not being part of the old malaise. Okay. Now, as you know, my final question to you would be: Obviously, you are not the one contesting, but you're campaigning for the person contesting. So I'm, I will be obliged to also ask to ask to ask you this question, which is: Beyond Enugu, you can see that the Great Ibo Nation is somewhat lacking in a leadership can that can organize. The whole of Ndibo. Do you see that capacity in your candidate to organize Ndibo if elected governor of Enugu State? Well, if you want to capture the real quality and the sense of Peter's aspiration, just run through his manifesto. If you read it like a Bible, you find out that there is an economic blueprint for the East. And that intertwined with this politics will launch us at the federal level. Because you just need people. Recruitment is very important. 
if we make the mistake, it will be a generational one. But if we get it right, the new bunch of Igbo leaders that will emerge are people of his generation who will express it sufficiently in economics, in politics, intellectually. So I think that with him, he is talking about a blueprint that will integrate the East to make it economically potent, I mean, a, 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 and a potent economic force. And you see, uh, what in his manifesto, he said that Enugu is not just the capital of Enugu state. It's the capital of Eastern region. It's the capital of old Eastern region. And it should be reflected both in conduct, both in expression, both in development. It should reflect that. And that is how he would ordinarily galvanize a new generation of Igbo leaders that will reflect the views of the obedience, that will reflect their philosophy. And uh, in all, from all indications, I think that we just need a proper scrutiny of those we hire for the job. Otherwise, we are victims for the next uh, few years. You can see things, you know, you must use your head. Whereas your heart is telling you something, you must also use your head. You know, somebody, something tells me that out of passion, out of frustration, we hired the, the, the we, we, we hired the president, you know, eight years back. At the end of the day, the man in Katsina, where 13 local governments are occupied by bandits, and the man is in, are equally, are suffering an equal measure. So it doesn't really matter where you come from. But once you get somebody who is fit for purpose, you are there. So I am saying, and I'm also uh, pleading, and also asking our people that whereas we might be passionate, we must also use our heads to co hire correctly so that we will not, you know, suffer any bias remorse. Thank you very much, Honorable Lord. Thank you, Njenja. I appreciate it and your walking around campaigning for the governorship election. Uh, obviously, I do, not, I do not need to ask you who you are supporting. It's then very <laughs> obvious. How has it been so far? Well, uh, th thank you very much for having me. Uh, it's been going very, very well. All of us, we have come down all the way from Ambuja to make sure that our candidate, uh, Dr. Pitamba, win this uh, election. On Saturday, we have been touring various uh, uh, communities and even the indigenous, that we, uh, like some of us that are that we are living in the township. So we have been meeting with them to come back for vote to make sure that PDP take all the way on Saturday's uh, election. And we are very, very co confident that we are going to win that uh, election. Pitamba have campaigned. I myself, I have campaigned for him within our senatorial district and uh, the people of Enugu. Is very very happy. The, the people of Enugu is going to troop out in mass to vote for Pitamba because he has a very good manifesto for the people of Enugu State. He's going to do wonders in Enugu State and because so many people have been saying a lot of things that uh, that so so people brought him out. No no no, that that one is just a, a non-issue. Pitamba is a, a man of capacity. He's a man of, of competence. So he's going to do a lot of work for the people of uh, Enugu State. What we want is somebody who is going to to, to bring the, the, the whole of the Igbos to, together in Enugu, because Enugu is the capital of the old eastern region. Enugu is the capital of the of the of the East Central State and all these things. So the whole of Igbos they have stake here in Enugu, and the only person that that can achieve that that issue is uh, Dr. Pitamba. He's going to bring the whole of Igbos together in Enugu and develop Enugu State to be the capital for the whole of Igbo. Um, you are aware that uh, there is this new movement after Peter B had declared that he's going to run for president called the Obedient Movement. Oh. And the Obedient are saying anyone who is not obedient will not get their vote. What do you have to say? Well, uh, we, are, we, we, we are also pleading with the Obedient people because all of us, we are obedient. And we are pleading with them because Obedient is not a political party. Obedient is a, is, a, is a movement that wants somebody that is competent 
somebody that has a character, somebody that is going to do something that they will see, somebody that, somebody that is going to, to do something for, for, for the benefit of the youth. So we are appealing to them. Let us leave uh, political parties around. Let us vote for, for competence. So we are pleading with them, let them come out in mass and support uh, our candidate, Peter Mba, because Peter Mba is also obedient. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edia. Ah, la, 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 la.